Let's bring in and see if this is Andrew Ross Sorkin now. And Andrew, I mean, let's just start right there with the timing of this arrest on the eve of his testimony before Congress, the chairwoman of that committee. Well, happy to see the prosecution going forward. It made no secret of her displeasure that now his testimony will not be under oath before Congress. Right. What's with the timing here? Uh, hard to understand. A lot of people had thought that he was going to be walking into a trap of sorts because he would be testifying under oath and there could be additional charges potentially uh, of defrauding uh, the world if, in fact, he were to have lied uh, under oath. I think at this point it looks like somebody inside has flipped. Uh, somebody close to him, uh, there were, there's been a lot of speculation uh, about a number of people in and around FTX, in and around Sam Bankman Freed, and whether they were able to do that. If you look through the SEC complaint this morning, in fact, what you can see is some significant details about what actually happened inside, uh, details that would have been unavailable uh, to law enforcement prior. So uh, perhaps that is what may have happened in this case. Yeah, often it takes months and months, if not years, as you well know, to build a white collar criminal case. So many are, as you just said, speculating that perhaps someone right. on the inside has flipped, turned against him and is guiding prosecutors here. Sam Brinkman Freed, to you and to the many other interviews he has done subsequently, right. has consistently said, I don't I didn't know there was commingling of funds between FDX, the crypto exchange and his own hedge fund. That seems to be the linchpin of the government's case. And the SEC, at least, is saying there was deception here. So it suggests the government has this evidence. It, it very much appears that way. And in fact, there's a specific detail in the SEC complaint this morning uh, that seems to suggest that he understood very much so that there was $8 billion that was in his hedge fund that had been moved to another account at one point, in fact, that they were going to start charging interest on, and he started moving that money again to another account. So when you start to piece those pieces together and you think about what's called criminal intent, that he intended to do this, it is that kind of evidence that prosecutors are going to use to try to build their case. And then finally, I mean, what about the, the investors, some of them not rich people who, who right. poured their money into this and, and trusted in this? Is, is there anything about these indictments, the civil case that from, by the SEC that makes recouping those losses any more likely? I am afraid to say that piece of it, I think, is uh, going to be the most difficult component of this. Uh, the idea of getting that money back uh, is going to be a long and arduous process. There is going to be some money uh, for those who invested in something called FTX.US. There may be a better chance at getting some of that money back. But uh, we have heard from so many people who have used uh, this service, uh, some of whom say they have lost their, li their life savings. All right. Andrew Ross Sorkin, who did a seminal interview with Sam Brinkman Freed. Thank you very much. We appreciate Thank it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.